Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Welcome back to my channel Jadi dalam video kali ini Kita nak buat lagi beberapa soalan Dalam chapter 9 Dan jika anda pertama kali hadir ke channel ini Selamat datang saya ucapkan Jika anda pernah hadir dan kembali semula Tahniah kerana rajin dan sudi kembali Jadi dalam video kali ini Kita akan buatlah beberapa soalan Berkaitan dengan chapter 9 Jom kita mula Alright, so let's proceed to the last example, example number 9. Okay, so here we have 25 gram block connected to one end of spring is to place 15 centimeter from its equilibrium position and release. Okay, and let's say we consider the diagram like this. Okay, uh, kita boleh consider lah macam mana pun. So positive A. So, equilibrium position and negative A, where it is given 15 centimeter. So, let's take out all the informations where A is equal to 15 centimeter and it is 0 0.15 meter. And the mass of the block is 25 gram, which is equal to 0 0.025 kg. And the spring constant is given in meter eh. Sebab tu amplitude pun saya tukar kepada meter. Newton per meter. Okay. So, soalan kata dekat sini, uh, the block connected to one end of spring. Okay, the deep is 15 centimeter. Okay. From its equilibrium position and release. Okay. So, saya consider here at T is equal to 0 second. Okay. So, for question number one, okay, sketch the graph of displacement versus time of the block, label the amplitude and the period of the oscillation on the graph, okay? So, let's say we have x against t graph, okay? And since we already know that at t is equal to zero second, the position of the particle is at positive x. Okay, positive a. Sorry, positive a. Okay, so kat sini lah. Which is 15 centimeter, And this is negative 15. Okay, so it start from here. Sorry. Okay, so kita boleh lukis lah. Okay. So the period t here. We need to find berapa nilai dia. Where t is equal to 2 pi over m over k. Okay, kenapa kita tak cari daripada omega? Sebab kita tak ada pun nilai omega. Okay, so kita boleh cari daripada sini. So, let's substitute m 0.025 over k 180 so, you akan dapat 0.074 second. Okay. So, labelkanlah kat sini. 0. Point, oh, sorry. 0 0.074 second. Okay. So, kita dah menjawablah soalan yang pertama. Pastikan label uh, Y exists and X exists and then make sure you put the Level of the amplitude and also the period T. Okay. And then for second question. Calculate the instantaneous speed of the block at a distance of 11 centimeter which is equal to 0 0.11 meter. So we can straightly calculate what is the instantaneous speed okay, by using equation of V in terms of X. Okay. Uh, ini tak susah lah. Okay, equation ni, okay, we just substitute x is 0 0.11 meter. Tapi sebelum kita substitute nilai dia, kita kena cari omega lah, where omega is equal to 2 pi over t. Okay, so uh, omega, kita boleh kira kan, t dah ada tadi, 0 0.074, so omega is equal to 85 radian per second. Okay. 
So now let's calculate V where omega is 85. A is 0 0.15 squared minus X 0 0.11 squared. So V is equal to 8.67 meter per second. Okay. Okay, next. Calculate the total energy of the system, E. Okay, we just apply the equation. E equal to half K A squared. So, K kita dah ada. Uh, tak perlulah kita nak tukar K tu kepada M omega squared. Sebab nilai K tu soalan dah bagi dah. Kalau soalan tak bagi nilai K, then kita perlu tulis K is equal to M omega squared. Kena cari pula K dulu. Okay. Tapi sebab soalan dah bagi K is equal to 180 Newton per meter, we can just readily use the equation. Okay? So, 2.03 Joule. Alright. Okay, question number 4. On the same graph, sketch and label the variation of kinetic energy K and potential energy U versus displacement X. On the graph, indicate the maximum value of each curve and the amplitude. Okay. So, kita cuba lukis graph. Kinetic energy and the potential energy. Okay. So, this is the energy in Joule. And this is X in meter. Alright. So, before we sketch the graph, always remember. Okay. At x equal to 0, v is maximum. Okay. Where v is equal to omega a. Uh, kalau kita gantikan x ini dengan 0, v is maximum. Therefore, kinetic energy should be maximum which is equal to half mv squared. Okay. Uh, so, kalau kita masukkan v tu dekat dalam equation ni. Okay, kita masukkan, saya tunjuk semula derivation dia. You akan dapat half M V adalah omega A squared. Ah, so, you akan dapat half M omega squared A squared. So, ingat lagi tak? M omega squared is equal to K. So, you akan dapat equation kinetic energy is maximum is equal to half k a squared. Okay. Di mana nilai half k a squared tadi kan kita dah kira 2.03. Okay. So kalau saya plotkan dekat sini. Okay. At here, the value is 2.03 joule. Okay. At x equal to 0, the kinetic energy is maximum. Boleh? Okay. But at x equal to Positive or negative A. Okay. Bila kita masukkan dekat sini. V akan dapat kosong. V is equal to zero. So kinetic energy equal to half mv squared. Kinetic energy also equal to zero. Boleh eh? So bila kita masuk dekat sini. At x equal to positive A. Uh, amplitude dia tadi berapa? 0 0.15 here. Kinetic energy is equal to zero. Okay. Saya so, kena, kena guna warna merah lah sepatutnya. Okay. Kinetic energy is equal to zero. Okay. Same goes to this one. Kinetic energy is equal to zero at negative 0 0.15 and positive 0 0.15. So the graph of kinetic energy, bentuk dia macam ni lah. Okay. So, this is the graph of kinetic energy, the red color. Okay. So, if we proceed at position, okay. Uh, at x equal to positive negative A. Uh, okay. So, now let's proceed at x equal to 0. U, the potential energy equal to half kx squared. When x equal to 0, U is equal to 0 Joule. Okay. So, so kita akan letak dekat sini lah. U. Yang kali biru ini. Okay. But at X equal to positive negative A. U is maximum. 
where it is equal to half kx squared. So, that akan jadi half ka squared. Di mana nilai half ka squared kita dah kira tadi 2.03 joule. So, kita labelkanlah at x equal to positive or negative a. Okay. So, this is the position. At x equal to positive 0 0.15. The potential energy is equal to 0 point, sorry, 2.03. This one. Okay. So, when we plot the graph, okay, the graph of potential energy, yang kali biru ni, saya labelkan sebagai U. Okay. So, dia suruh kita indicate the maximum value of each curve, if any, and the amplitude. Okay. So, sekarang kita dah labelkan semua nilai lah. Amplitude kita dah uh, label dan juga maximum. Here is the maximum uh, potential energy. Okay. But here also, but here is the maximum kinetic energy. Okay. Which is equal to 2.03 Joule. U pun sama akan equal to 2.03 Joule. Okay. So, finish this one. Okay, question number five, the last one. Okay, the spring is removed and the 25 gram block is connected to string. Okay, so maknanya tadi kita guna spring. This time we use the string. Okay, and the system oscillates as simple pendulum. So the period T untuk simple pendulum should be equal to 2 pi square root. L over G. Okay. Jadi tadi dia kata uh, 25 gram block ni kita letak pada spring. But this time we try to remove the spring and we replace with the string. Okay. So the string block system oscillates as simple pendulum. So what is the effect on the period of the oscillation if the mass of the block is reduced by half? Okay, maknanya 25 gram block ni, kalau kita reduce separuh, apa berlaku? Okay, uh, so if we change, okay, the mass M2 equal to half M1. Okay, where M1 tadi adalah uh, 25 gram. Okay. So, in this case, bila kita tukar spring itu dengan tali, dengan string, okay, the period of the oscillation, okay, not depends on the mass of the particle. Okay, so for the simple pendulum, look at here, the period is depending on the length of the string. Tapi kalau kita guna spring, the period of the oscillation is depending on the mass, on the mass of the uh, particle or the object. Boleh. Jadi kalau kita dah pindahkan 25 gram block ini pada tali tadi and then we try to reduce the mass, okay, 25 gram, but kita try to oscillate and then uh, kita tukar, okay, kita reduce the mass of the block. Okay, to half uh, of the mass, of the initial mass. Kita akan dapati that the period T, okay, stay the same. Okay, kita boleh tulislah. Okay, that the period T, okay, stay, stays the same. Okay, since... Ataupun kita kata constant lah. Since T does not depends. Okay. On the mass of the object. Okay. Uh, maknanya uh, you tukar. Okay. You tukar uh, apa nama tu. So means that. Okay. You change the spring to a string. Uh, formula ni kita akan pakai formula yang inilah. Where the period of the oscillation. 
okay depends on the length of the string only not depending on the mass of the particle or the mass of the object okay jadi uh, the period of the oscillation dia akan samalah stays the same even though we change the uh, mass of the object okay so that's all for me thank you for your support so all the best and see you in the next video bye bye